And here I have a talking tattletale. Time to unbox this puppet. No, 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 no. Hello everybody, my name is Tommy, and today I will be showing you how to make your very own talking tattletale, including the box and even the egg. Let's grab our newspapers and our brushes, and remember safety first, and let's get started. Start by crumbling newspaper into a large egg. Now make two flat eggs for the feet. To make the ears, fold the top two corners down into a triangle on two sheets of newspaper. With the folded flaps facing outward, attach the ears like so. Do the same thing to the other ear. Now crumble newspaper into the shape of a small carrot. This will be the tail. Now I'm just going to quickly assemble Tattletail just to see what he looks like. Alright, that looks big enough to me. So let's move on to the next step. To make the glue mixture, you'll need to mix one part water, one part glue, and then cover up the surface area, put toilet paper or tissue paper on top, and then put another layer of glue on top. Let it dry. Now it's going to be a lot easier for me to work on Tattletail's feet if I just take them off. I'm going to do the same thing for the tail, but I'm going to leave everything else on. You'll need to fatten up the front with newspaper, and we will be carving that into a belly when it dries. But first, I'm going to hot glue the ears down so that they look a lot more natural. When you're happy with how it looks, cover it up again with another layer. And now use the time to carve and fix any mistakes you've made. With a sharpie, draw where you want to cut and shape the belly. When you're happy with how it looks, start cutting around it. Just remember, razors are very sharp. Be careful not to cut yourself. Always cut away from yourself. When using knives, razors, and scissors, you should get an adult to help you with this. Once you are finished carving, you may now put another layer of toilet or tissue paper on top.
keep shaping the feet until they are smooth and they are almost identical to each other. To make the muzzle, scrunch newspaper into the shape of a bean and then attach it to the center of the face. Now I'm just going to keep smoothing and shaping. I almost have the feet just right, just needs a little bit of a trim yet. Well unfortunately the ears are just a little bit on the short side so I'm going to make them a little bit longer. Now with a sharpie, draw on the muzzle the shape of a bean at the bottom. It's kind of like a meow face. Then cut it out and shape it. More smoothing. With hot glue, attach the tail to the back and Shape it and then cover it up in toilet paper or tissue paper to make sure the tail is secure. You can use a knife to carve the toes, but I'm going to use a router tool because it is so very handy.
One last layer of tissue toilet paper and I'm gonna call these feet good. Attach the feet with hot glue. Just remember this glue is very hot. You can burn yourself so be careful. Just remember anytime you're using power tools, wear safety glasses. Okay, so I'm going to start making the eyes. So I've got, uh, you'll need some styrofoam balls for these. Um, Tattletail does not have very big eyes. So, yeah, this, these seem a little too bit much on the small side. That's actually a little bit on the large side. So I think this is the one that we want. Yeah, that looks about right. With a sharpie, draw where you want to drill the eyes. This is very, very hard and thick. As you can see, the knife is not going to cut through. I am going to be using a power drill. Do not use a power drill without adult supervision. Power drills can be very dangerous. Be very careful. <laughs> That's more like it. If all else fails, use power. Look how many layers of toilet paper I have on here. Wow, that is really thick. There is no way that knife is going to get through that. <laughs> I'm hitting it hard, seriously. That's how solid it is. Now with the sharpie, draw where you want to cut the mouth. And now for the last piece of detail, we have the cheeks. So I'm going to be using toilet paper and scrunching it into the ball, attaching it on each side of the muzzle and covering it up. And about two or three layers of toilet paper should do it. And that's it. That's it for the details, everybody. Now it's time for the best part, painting. Now I should start off by saying that Tattletail can be painted any color you want. But I'm going to be painting this a purple color to look like the main Tattletail from the game. While I'm painting this Tattletail, you can just sit back and enjoy the music.
To install the moving jaw, you will need to cut the back open. And remove all the newspaper and stuffing in the inside of the puppet. Keep clearing out the puppet until it is completely hollow. Now slide a dowel on the top of the puppet and slide it so that it passes through the mouth. This is where the jaw will be installed. As you can see, this is how it's going to move, but however, it is a little bit wobbly, but I have a solution for that. Carefully, without burning yourself, hot glue the jaw on an angle to the dowel, and then, once it dries, slide it inside the puppet through the back. So here's how it looks so far, but it is a little bit wobbly and won't stay in place. So let's fix that right now. On a skinny piece of scrap cardboard, cut a small slit. Now insert the cardboard inside the puppet while sliding the dowel through the opening. Here's what it looks like from the inside. As you can see, now the dowel slides up and down freely without wiggling. We will be using hot glue to hold the cardboard in place. This next step has a high burn risk, so please wear gloves when hot gluing on the inside. Put the hot glue on the cardboard and hold the cardboard on the inside with your hand until it cools down completely. I will be giving my tattletale blue eyes, so paint the color spot on the styrofoam balls for the eyes. Dot the middle of the iris with a dab of black paint. Alright, so when you're glossing, make sure you bring it outside so that you have good ventilation and wear some safety glasses so you don't get any of this stuff in your eyes. I'm going to spray the gloss on now. Let's finish Tattletail. Now I'm just going to paint that piece of cardboard on the inside of the mouth black so that it is not noticeable. Install the eyes into Tattletail. The eyes should fit nice and snug into the holes. And now Tattletail is complete.
Okay, so to make the tattletale eggs, you will need an Easter egg, one that opens up. I got some gold ribbon, and I just kind of cut out some cardboard into the shape of a butterfly. And this, we're just going to glue that on top. You'll need some uh, gold paint. Scissors, just remember to be careful when using scissors. Never cut towards yourself. And hot glue. And just remember, this is very hot, don't burn yourself. Start by gluing the small dot in the center of the butterfly. This is actually supposed to be a bow tie. Then paint it gold. Or you can paint it whatever color you want. It's up to you. Now apply some hot glue around the rim of the Easter egg. Wrap the ribbon around the rim. Careful not to burn yourself. On the ribbon, add a small dab of hot glue. Then place the bow tie on it. And just that easy, you have a tattletale egg. You can put anything you want inside your tattletale egg. My tattletale egg is going to have gemstones. Look at them sparkle. It's a mixture of all kinds of gemstones, including amethysts, emeralds, garnets, opals, rubies, sapphires, quartz, and topaz, all kinds of gemstones. To make the box for Tattletail, you will need two cutouts of 10 by 12s, two 17 by 10s, and lastly two 17 by 12s. Now these are the dimensions to fit my Tattletail, however you're welcome to adjust these measurements accordingly. Now I'm going to start by painting the inside of the box. As you can see the cardboard is very dirty so I'm just going to clean it up first. Then the inside of the box I'm going to have painted gold. But first I just want to clean up this mess. On the large cardboard cutout Glue on with a hot glue gun the skinnier pieces on each side. Then glue the large cutout on top of the two skinnier pieces. Glue the small piece onto the bottom. Now I'm going to cover this box with toilet paper and glue. Now I'm going to paint the inside of the box gold.
And now I'm going to paint the box. I'm going to be painting mine red. To make the top open freely, add tape to wherever you want to add the hinge. I'm putting mine at the back of the box. Then cover it with two layers of toilet or tissue paper and glue. Let it dry and paint over it. So to make the box, basically what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to glue some uh, cutouts. So I took some pictures of my tattletale. So I'm going to glue that on. I'm going to put this on the back. I even got a picture of an egg, another angle of tattletale. Now I didn't really want to use the official font for tattletale um, because of copyright reasons. Uh, but anyway, this is uh, the talking tattletale. Here, and I'm even going to credit the game makers, Waygetter Electronics. Anyway, so let's get started. And here's a little tip. You can actually make some eyelids for your tattletale by gluing on toilet paper and painting it afterward. Cover it up just around the top of the eyeballs. Wow, I had so much fun making that. That was, this turned out really great. I'm really happy with my tattletale. And I hope you all find this tutorial very helpful. And I will see you all next time. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the show. Now go make yourself a puppet friend.